plants convert sunlight into chemical energy and create new water. This process is called photosynthesis and occurs in specialized plant cells. Within these cells are organelles called chloroplasts. This is where new water is formed. Within the chloroplast is the thylakoid membrane. This is where old water is split. The thylakoid membrane has many interconnected compartments. Welcome to the world of the very small. The thylakoid compartment is so small it can split hydrogen atoms into protons and electrons. In the thylakoid membrane, old water can be split and then reconstructed into new water. When sunlight shines on chlorophyll pigments in photosystem 2, energized electrons are passed along an electron transfer chain to photosystem 1. Water molecules are attracted to photosystem 2. Electrons are stripped from the water's hydrogen atoms and replace the electrons lost by chlorophyll. This causes hydrogen protons to be released from their oxygen atoms. The oxygen atoms are bound into molecules of O2 and pass through the thylakoid membrane. Protons fill up the thylakoid compartment and are then forced out through an ATP synthase. Protons outside the membrane are attracted to electrons passing through the electron transfer chain. They are captured and returned to the thylakoid compartment. This cycle is repeated over and over. Protons provide energy for ATP production. The newly formed ATP carries the proton energy in its molecule. When light shines on chlorophyll in photosystem 1, energized electrons pass down a second electron transfer chain to a molecule of NADP. NADPH forms and stores the two energized electrons. Outside the thylakoid membrane, CO2 combines with a molecule of ribulose. With the help of ATP and NADPH, CO2 and ribulose are turned into sugar. During this process, oxygen is released. This oxygen combines with the hydrogen produced from splitting old water. This newly formed molecule is new water.